I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the devil card. Ends with the empress. Now, the devil... With this card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. Usually the first. And um, we'll put it this way. First things first. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back. At any time you choose to do so. So, you could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But, more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So, take action. Whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice of what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important too. Now, it's with the Empress. The Empress does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. Her own idea of what is right. And what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but the Empress is actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. <clears throat> and I say this because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only one of them, but as the Empress... The Empress can encompass any or all of them. Yeah, the Empress can have it all. Now it's with this... It's, but, it, but it's with the Devil card. So basically, the priest and past energy, Gemini, for you and your person, the Devil clarified by this Empress. So what I'm getting is that you're dealing with someone who is very attracted to you. Or you're very attracted to them. It could go either way. There's, or there could be like a lot of attraction between the two of you. But it, it looks like you could have found out that your person, they have a lot of toxic behaviors or toxic energy, devil energy. Maybe your person has addictions. Addictions could be anything from greed, envy, materialism. Maybe there's a jealous type or jealousy, obsession, maybe sexual lust, drug abuse even, or even alcohol abuse. So, yeah, you realize your person, they bring some toxic behaviors or ways or energy or some addictions to the connection. But there's attraction here. I'm getting it's on both parts for a lot of you. Both of you are really attracted to each other. But you could be you could have recently found out that they they're very toxic. But let's move on over. Let's see if we can get some clarity on this and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the ace of swords and it's with the page of pentacles. Now the ace of swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. Could be on several fronts. Sometimes it's a new beginning. It gets started by a separation of some kind. Maybe a relationship from a job or a situation. But just know as an as a as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all is actually good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. Or need to be. Yeah, so some type of separation brings about a new beginning. Okay.
Okay, so this Ace of Swords is with the Page of Pentacles, which can be a card about boredom in some way. So you could be tempted to say or do things or shake things and people up for just a little bit of excitement. You want to rethink the, um, rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy. Because we all know excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles, it's actually a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because it brings, well, it can give focus, it can give backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So what, I, what I'm getting with this Ace of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles coming up for you and your person is that, um, yeah, you might be thinking coming up that it's time to cut this out. Yeah, you could be thinking that coming up. Um, you might just be over this person or over their toxic ways. You're kind of like bored with what they bring to the connection. You're bored with this devil type of energy. It's not really what you signed up for. Yeah, so you could be thinking about actually cutting this person out and going towards a new beginning. Now, uh, let's see what the challenge is. We have the Two of Swords and it's with the King of Cups. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. But you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this does require open communication on both parts. Now it's with the King of Cups. The King of Cups speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities. Of both masculine and feminine. Often he could indicate a man in your life. Usually he would represent a very kind and loving type. Um, this person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, whenever you see the King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, King of Cups, whenever you see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the tarot. Very loving. What's in the cup? Love. So, coming up the challenge for you and your person. Two of Swords, clarified by King of Cups. So yeah, like I said, it looks like you're ready to go towards someone else. Or you want a new beginning with someone else. Or just maybe a new beginning. Oh, um, maybe in life. And you realize that you need to cut this person out. You're kind of over this devil type of energy that they bring to the connection. So it looks like they could be reaching out to you. King of Cups reaches, reaches the King of Cup reaches out with kindness, compassion, a very warm and friendly, tolerant type of energy. So they're reaching out to you, or they could be hoping you you reach out to them in this way, being warm, friendly, and tolerant of their behavior. But it looks like for those of you. Who have, who will have this person reaching out, offering their cup of love. It looks like you're going to choose to avoid and block them. Yeah, that's what the Two of Swords can be about. So let's move over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Queen of Swords. And so the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Swords, you can point to a woman in your life. This woman is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. 
if this is not an actual person, it can stand to, well, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you might have to put your foot down the queen of swords. It can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. It's a very, very, very forceful energy, this queen of swords. Now, a lot of people find it really abrasive. Now, also the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. I like the Knight of Pentacles because it's a very stable type of energy. If you're single and you get the Knight of Pentacles in the reading, it can indicate that you're ready for a serious relationship. And it may, and you may find someone who's ready to provide you with the security and support that you want and need. And if you're in a relationship, this can mean commitment or, um, or something is, or the connection is solid. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a good indicator of a very stable type of energy, loyal, committed, um, very practical energy, patient, protective. This Knight of Pentacles, it can be your knight in shining armor. Very, very good energy. It's a loyal, loyal type. The Knight of Pentacles make really good fathers. Yeah, so... Just trying to adjust the light. It got pretty dark in here. Let's see. Okay, so Gemini, your outcome, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Well, like I said, it looks like you're avoiding and blocking them. You're kind of like over their toxic behaviors or their addictions. There's attraction though. You got it. You're attracted to them, and they're attracted to you. But you're kind of ready to cut this out. You probably feel like it's going nowhere, because they've got issues that they have to deal with. And um, yeah, you're bored with their issues. You feel, you you want them to work on it, maybe without you. You're going on to a new beginning. That's what it's showing. If it's not with someone else, it could be just just in life overall. So they'll be reaching out to you, trying to be romantic and sensitive, kind, compassion. Um, trying to offer you their cup of love, but you block them. And the Queen of Swords is also showing that you might have to put your foot down and be very forceful with this person. Because here they come again, the Knight of Pentacles. They come in... Um, Wanting you to know, or wanting you to feel like they're more stable. Yeah, they're going to try to give you the impression that they're stable. The connection be, can be committed. They can be loyal. They can be faithful. They're coming in to let you know that um, they can be what you want them to be. Stable, loyal, committed, practical. So they might come in trying to make you feel like they're different. They've changed. But it looks like you're not having that either. Queen of Swords puts her foot down. She can be very nasty and bold and sharp and abrasive. The Queen of Swords will cut you. So it looks like Gemini, you plan on cutting this person out. Or that's what you've already done. You're putting your foot down. You really don't want to hear it. Like I said, the Page of Pentacles is saying that you're over this. You're you're bored with their addictions and their toxic behavior. So Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? 
There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, situation. Or maybe even a co-worker. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are gen general readings, they're not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. Take care and happy holidays.